Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Ziggy James. This is Z32 Workshop. And this beside me is my lovely 1993 Nissan 300ZX convertible. Um, this is episode two of doing the install for the uh, Z-Speed uh, solid mount shifter bracket. Um, for last episode, we got the console tour part shifter kind of out of the way. Uh, next up is actually jacking the car up and getting to the underside so we can get to these two bolts, these two bolts, and then these two bolts. Um, that's what needs to get done to get this in. And then while we're in there, I will get the transmission mount replaced as well. I am going with the DBE unit uh, for polyurethane bushing, be a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna feel more vibration in a car, but I'm convertible anyway. So I'm just trying to solid things up a little bit. Um, so that's this video. Um, I won't show me jacking the car up. I think that's kind of tedious for you guys, but what you will we'll see is us underneath the car looking at stuff. So we will uh, see you underneath the car in a moment. So here we go. Boom, boom, back. Uh, car's back, jacked up, got underneath the car. Let's take a look at it. Um, hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing. Um, I'm gonna try doing this without taking the exhaust off or the shield off. I'm gonna try doing it, see if it can be done, because I really don't want to take the exhaust off and everything else. It's just a, I'll do it. It's just a pain in the butt. I prefer not to. So let's take a look underneath the car here, as I got my trusted piece of cardboard. Car is up on four jack stands, as it needs to be. I even got a block, couple blocks of wood to be helpful, and I left the jack underneath uh, the subframe just to be safe, just to give myself extra more reassurance. Can never be too safe with jack stands. Do not want them to fall. All right, let's go underneath here. Let's show you what's going on here, boys and girls. Sorry for the lighting and everything. Hopefully you guys can see this. What's going on is, I get my pointer finger up in here. There are two bolts there, and two on this side that hold that bracket on. Um. They are not the only ones, those are 12 millimeters. I should be able to loosen those up from down here. The issue that I need to get is, I don't know if you could see it, hopefully you guys can. Um, I need to get the actual shifter out of the place, which is the bushing underneath, um, which is there, and the other one. I'm gonna try doing that from the top, see if I can fiddle fart with it. If it doesn't work, I will just have to start removing things. I'm not a fan of that, just so you know, because Getting this exhaust out of the way stinks. Um, that let's go back around up the front. Open out the factory shifter gone. Um, hopefully it should go just fine. All right, let's take a look. Um, because this is where we're at. I am gonna try to fiddle fart and get those nuts off the bottom side. Getting it because. Realistically, bolts through here, nuts this side. I'm guessing it's a 10 or a 12, everybody. Um, this is how I'm doing it. It's a 14 millimeter uh, nut, 12 millimeter socket. Uh, and I'm holding, putting my hand underneath here, holding the nut with the screwdriver so it doesn't fall down and using the ratchet to back it out. Now this is just to separate the stick from the, actually the, transmission or the yeah the stick from the transmission all right let's see if she's done because she kind of feels like it and she is very gently and slowly pull the socket or the nut ta-da that's a self-locking nut her um, nylon nut which is good and then I can pull the bolt on out. And now that it is separated. So at the moment, this isn't connected to anything. Ooh. Yeah, well, I didn't realize how bad that shifter is. I mean, it's, it's loose. She isn't plopping out or anything, but she's okay there. Uh, next up, I'm gonna try taking the shifter self out from here. 
Uh, I'm gonna use. Oh, that's gonna be tight. Let's see if I can get. Let's see if I can get the sizes on that first. Um, we're going to now. I know it's a long wait. We're gonna go after the bolts on the bottom of the transmission that hold the bracket. The, the ones that allow to make this thing swivel. Because what's happening is this is completely free now, which is cool. There is twelve millimeter right there. Hold the window right there. By the way, most of the stuff I'm being done with simple hand tools. Nothing fancy. All right, there's one bolt down. There comes two bolt. There's that one. Loose. Let's try the other one here. Oh heck, not loose. Get it out. <laughs> All right, let's try getting this guy out. All right, that's out. Shifter should be free. Let's see if I can pull it off the top, guys. Okay, I pull you off the top. Allows me to get to this bolt and this bolt. I dropped one of the bushings and let's go grab it. But this should be a 12 millimeter or 14. It's not a 14, must be 12. Really? It's gonna be a problematic, huh? Oh, there went the other bushing. Nut. Oh yeah, that's the cap for the. Tr for that I forget about that. Boom, uh, back out of the car, guys. Um, sorry about that, I didn't get it filmed. I uh, had something come, come up with my wife, no big deals. Um, but the bracket's out. What you needed to do is you take the shifter here. Once you got these loose, you can move flop it around quite a bit. And then you get up enough to take this bolt out. Uh, apparently, I was missing a bolt or a nut. Uh, I will show you in a second. Because I'm making a mess right now off camera. Let's see, let's get these out of the way. Actually, let's do this. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, these are the bushings, which were new a couple years ago. Um, basically, as this thing sits in here, I'm on fit in these sucker. You have one nut, one bolt, pinches down. I only had this nut. I did not have the top one. Top one went away. Sorry, top one went away. I don't know if it rattled off, or I missed it, or I never had it to begin with. I am not 100% sure on that. In fact, funny means. Once you do that, you can get this thing up and out of here, like I did somehow. There you go. It's a little elongated one way compared to the other. Um, so this bracket's out. Now, as you can see, this swivels here. So it's got two bushings, one here, one here. So this is going to allow, uh, allow for play to happen. 
And this bolt here up top anchors it to inside the console. This bracket by the inner hands changes the game. It makes it so the shifter just bolts in directly and it's solid mount to this. There's no swivel points, no bushings. Only bushings you get will be underneath to the shifter itself. So you'll feel more transmission out of this, uh, feel more connected to it because you frankly are, you don't have these bushings in a way. Um, that being said, these bolts here are nuts and bolts now for these. So it's gonna be slightly more difficult to go do. Uh, and this is, like I said, this is like step two. I'm sorry, I just got stuff going on. Um, can't work all night to go get this in, to get it in, but now I have it out so I can game plan this guy in which is vicariously we'll do this I need to get this guy out was this let's see if i can show this to you halfway decently i went in like that oh come on bad boy i did it one way i can do it the other way go in Right, slide back. Ta da! She's in. Granted, she's not where she needs to be, but she's hanging out there. That is somewhat of how you get that guy in. And now that I have this up, I will put my shifter here to start with the bolts going through and tighten it up. Uh, I will not do that tonight. That is a tomorrow project. So. Um, I know this is kind of a long video, short video. It's a multi-step process. I'm sorry for doing this not in one take. I uh, just don't have the time um, to do it at night. I know this, you know, for you might only be 15 minutes. It's been an hour and a half for me um, because of, I won't say reshoots, but just dealing with other little things that you don't need to see online um, and more informative for you guys. So once again, my name is Z James. Uh, please like and subscribe. This is Z32 Workshop. Um, and I'll hope to see you guys in the comments or in the next video. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.